on the throat, that part of the tube. Is it, uh, you said the design is not, you could have thought of maybe a little bit better options because it's too multifunctional. Is that, can you sort of elaborate on the multifunctional nature of this part? Are a lot of parts of the human body multifunctional or do you find that it's more specialization is going to get the job done better? There is a lot of organs, for instance, do have multiple functions. You know, the pancreas is, has two, it's like two organs in one. One, you know, secretes hormones like insulin into the bloodstream, and the other aspect of it secretes uh, digestive enzymes into the gut to help you uh, digest and absorb food. The liver is like 15 organs in one. It's just amazing how many different things it does. But the throat, you know, so basically the problem with the throat is, as I said, we have two tubes that are right next to each other in the throat. One is for food, drink, saliva, mucus, snot, whatever you're going to swallow. All of that stuff must go down the esophagus, the food tube, and end up in the stomach. And right next to the esophagus, millimeters away, is the windpipe or the trachea, which goes down to the lungs. And your, your throat does these daily gymnastics to keep everything but air out of the windpipe because, you know, you slip up once and you can die. Uh, you can choke. You know, you laugh or speak while eating and, and it's curtains, unfortunately. So it seems like, you know, every aspect of the body when I was learning about it in med school seems so brilliant and so perfectly designed by evolution or whoever you might think designed it um, to, you know, favor survival, to enhance life. Uh, but the throat seemed the opposite. It seemed set up almost for failure. And, uh, you know, we developed all these mechanisms as a compensation, right? We have the gag reflex whenever food or something is headed towards your air pipe, your windpipe, or down to your lungs, your throat has this sort of like rejection of it. It pushes it away in a gag reflex. At the same time, we have a cough, which is something we, our body does when something inappropriate does get down the windpipe. You know, when we get a little food down the wrong pipe, uh, we end up coughing and the coughing does usually flush it out. Um, and get rid of it. We even have something called the mucus elevator in our lungs, which is this constant flow of mucus up the airways, up to the trachea, dragging with it all kinds of particulates that we've inhaled and perhaps some food that went down the wrong pipe and drags it up into the throat and we swallow it kind of unconsciously all day, every day is the truth. Even the mechanism of swallowing is super complicated. It, you know, it uses a number of cranial nerves. It uses over 15 different muscles. Um, it's this coordinated act to keep food out of the airway. You know, it, you can see someone's Adam's apple in their neck kind of jump upward when they swallow, which helps lift the airway up against this kind of the, the epiglottis, which plugs it closed and allows food or swallow drink to kind of skirt just past it. But every time we swallow, those things do come within millimeters of going down the wrong pipe. And it's just thanks to these kind of compensations, these adaptations we have to the danger of the throat that, that keeps us alive. As I actually took a sip of uh, water, it's, it's kinda, it makes you appreciate the wonderful machinery of it all. Uh, by the way, we have uh, pulled up your Instagram that people should follow. You have a post about the throat and, and just showing so many different components from the tongue to the trachea the esophagus, just the entire machinery of it all. <sighs> the teeth for the chewing, it's so interesting. And so a lot of the structure of this, the anatomy and the physiology, does it echo other mammals? Are, are we so? Is, are we just basically borrowing a lot of stuff from evolution and maybe making small adjustments, maybe due to the fact that we're not using our mouth to murder things? as other predators might, uh, right. we use our thumbs. Exactly, we have hands, we don't need to bite them. Um, yeah, there's a lot of overlap between um, different animals, which I find uh, very comforting and fascinating. You know, someone asked me, is there any animal in which the throat is better designed? And I, the, my first thought was whales, because the blowhole's kind of up on the top of their head. So I was thinking, mm -hmm. oh, maybe, maybe they are set more separate. But when I looked into it, actually, no. You know, the paths do come very close, just like in us. and. Uh, I saw a paper about some new discovered organ that actually helps keep food and drink out of the airway in whales that they hadn't ever noticed before. So it's a different mechanism, but the same kind of basic problem is that 
you know, we're tubes and the air tube and food tube are right next to each other. How well do we understand, so just even lingering on this little part, is there still some mysteries about the complexity of the system? Because you mentioned just even for swallowing all these parts in the brain that are responsible and all, all the different things that have to, like an orchestra play together. Do we have a good sense from both a medical perspective and a biology perspective, or is there still mysteries? There's definitely still mysteries. We understand a lot about, for instance, how the swallowing mechanism, you know, is coordinated. It's in the brain stem, sometimes using some higher levels of the brain. Um, but it is a very thoughtless thing, as you mentioned when you drank the water. You know, it's not something we have to think about, thankfully, or we'd be thinking about it all day. Um there's a lot we don't understand about the basic mechanisms, perhaps, about how the nerves fire and how they kind of, you know, coordinate on the, on the microscopic level, how ions rush into and out of nerve cells to kind of create that electrical signal. But we sure understand a heck of a lot, and it's very fascinating.